Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night time, wherever and whenever you may be watching this video. Thanks very much for clicking. This video today is brought to you by our sponsor, Noisy Cups. Noisy Cups. So as the title suggests, this video is going to be just a quick summary of three samples that I've got of fragrances that I just find have a certain edge to them or they're just a little bit weird, a little bit wacky, a little bit out there. Kicking things right off in no particular order is Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Now out of the three samples that I've got and I'm going to talk about today, this is probably not only the most popular but it's the most accessible. I, you're going to get people, you know, with everything, people are perhaps some people aren't gonna like it, but I think it's the most mass pleasing out of the three. In short, with this fragrance, it's not as wacky as the other two, but it does, especially in the opening, it just has something going on. And I personally find it edgy, I find it interesting, I find it awakening. That's, that's kind of what it is. It just has this proper like grab your nostrils, you're awake kind of smell. A lot of people in videos online compare it to an, it has sort of an inky vibe. And I guess I get that a little bit. Um, I don't, I don't live in whatever you, I don't write in ink. So I, I'm sorry. But jokes aside, it just, there's something about it. That, I mean, the, the main ingredients apparently, or the main two components are blackcurrant and tea. Uh, the tea is definitely there, but there's just something about that opening which I can't massively explain. Like I could say, I could agree with the other people and say it's inky, but again, I don't smell ink on a regular basis. So all I can say is get yourself a sample, just smell the first half hour just to be intrigued and to find out what's going on. But it's definitely, it's got something about it guys that just wakens you up. The second fragrance, I told you I wasn't messing about with time. We're gonna keep this short, is Bat. If you've seen a lot of YouTube videos, you may have already come across this one, you may have heard of it. Bat is a Marmite fragrance. I'll quickly explain when I say Marmite fragrance what I mean. In the UK we have a condiment that you, a lot of people spread on toast called Marmite and it's a very unique taste and even the adverts themselves for Marmite, they say Marmite, you'll either hate it or love it. They got a very devil may care attitude about it. This I find is a Marmite fragrance. I think you're gonna have people who really love the art behind it and who appreciate it, maybe people who like exploring bat caves or they just like nature. And then you're gonna get people who think, what the F is this? Bat, by Zoologist, is a very, very unique fragrance. I'm sort of treading the line between what I think of it. I personally would never wear this out in public. I can't think of a single time where I would wear this, even even to the point if I went to a zoo and I went to a bat cave, because that's kind of what it's trying to recreate with this smell. That's what Victor Wong, the creator of Zoologist, that's what he tries to go for. As to my knowledge, he tries to go for animals' habitats. So if you look at the notes in this fragrance, you're gonna find things like banana, damp earth, soft fruits, tropical fruits, mineral notes, things like that, vegetal roots. It's, yeah, it's, it's meant to resemble a bat's cave. So for that reason alone, guys, it's gotta be on the list. Um, I don't recommend blind buying any fragrance, for that matter, unless, you know, there's a crazy deal going on. This, this fragrance, I can't put into words how strongly I don't think anyone should blind buy this fragrance. And that's not saying I think it's terrible. I think it's, in I think it's incredible and I think it's, you know, weird and interesting and things like this, but it's not blind by worthy, in my opinion. It's, you're gonna have to get a sample, you're gonna have to smell it for yourself, guys. It's a very, very interesting fragrance. This smells like a bat's cave. So the third and final fragrance on this weird and wacky list is a fragrance by the house Etat Libre de Lange, and it is called Le Fin du Monde. This isn't the official packaging for their samples, this is from this was basically a bag that was sent to me by a company called Bloom Fragrances. And what they do is they attach a nice piece of paper to their samples that include a list of the notes in the fragrance. Super handy. This is on the list for a number of reasons. 
you know, the name of the fragrance, La Fin du Monde, translates to the end of the world, which is quite a bold statement, a bold name to call a fragrance. Also, the notes in the fragrance are a little bit odd. They're not commonly used notes. I've got things in here like carrot seeds, gunpowder, popcorn, ambrette seed, you know, things like that. They're not your common run-of-the-mill ingredients. And lastly, of course, is the smell. This would follow a close second, well, I like this probably as much as I like Silver Mountain Water, okay? It's, to me, it's a very pleasing scent, but to other people, it can be a Marmite scent. I sprayed this on my sister Annika, who's featured in one or two of the videos, and she, in the first minute, she absolutely loved it. She thought it was like nothing else she'd smelled before. She adored it, and then she went back to it, and she said, this is disgusting. This smells like somebody who smokes 20 cigarettes a day. I wouldn't say that I get a tobacco vibe from it. I wouldn't say that I get sort of a cigarette or a, a smoker vibe from it. What I get from this is a very unique smell. I've never smelled anything like this one, like the other two. With, with a lot of fragrances, I find if you spray them and they, they go through their longevity, you go through all the top notes, the middle notes, all of that, and then after five or six hours, you're left with this beautiful base sort of vanilla. A lot of fragrances have vanilla or musk in the dry down in the base and it just leaves this very faint, but really nice scent that just sticks really close to the skin. This fragrance, in my eyes, manages to recreate that soft, musky, vanilla-y, just mixture of all the sort of notes right from the off. And for that, I love it, because like I said, I love the dry down of a lot of fragrances. I think most of them have a, a sort of similar dry down going on. And this, if you like that dry down smell, to me, this is it in a ball. I, I love this fragrance, but it's very interesting, very unique. And the notes as well, gunpowder and popcorn, for that alone, get yourself a sample, try it out. So guys, that was the super quick list. Please, please feel free to leave a comment saying what your weirdest and wackiest fragrances are. Hopefully be back with you soon with another video. Thanks guys.